I've decided to look into SketchUp this time and there's this great add-in that lets you easily import SketchUp models into Blender. I'll put the link in the description so check it out if you're interested. After playing with SketchUp for a bit I was kind of disappointed because it has so many limitations especially if you're coming from a sophisticated and free 3D modeling program like Blender. This is my personal opinion so please let's not start an argument over which software is better in the comments section. They are just different. SketchUp is great for what it's made for, which is architectural fields. It's simple to use and has less steep learning curve. But then it's quite expensive, it used to be free a long time ago by the way, and it's like a car with no options at all. To model something a bit more complex, you'll have to keep buying add-ons and especially for hobbyists, I'm not so sure unless you have a lot of extra money to spend, why then am I introducing this add-on? It's because there are free models you can download from SketchUp Warehouse if you create an account with them and use for your projects. And I believe you can even use them for commercial use. Let's take a look at the living room model I downloaded from SketchUp Warehouse. Go to File, Import, and choose Import SketchUp Scene. I'm gonna choose my living room file. It's about 10 megabyte file so not that heavy. Let's take a look for material preview. When I zoom in, I can instantly see problems, something's wrong with the model itself or texture or both. This small cabinet doesn't seem right either. Why don't we take a look at this cookie? Click on the UV editing tab and you can see that it's just a photo image. I wouldn't want to take a close shot of this cookie. I'm gonna turn on face orientation now. See the problem? You'll have to fix and clean all this up if you want to use these models without any problems. You'll have to go to edit mode, select all. And press Shift N to recalculate normals or press Alt N to flip normals if that doesn't work. Let's take a look at this texture. You can clearly see the repeating pattern, right? Click on UV editing tab again. The textures are packed within the file so I'll unpack this texture by clicking on this unpack icon. I'll choose use file from current directory. This created a folder called texture within my saved Blender file location. When I look at its properties, I can see that it's less than 500 by 500 pixels. The texture size is very small and of low quality. What I'm getting at is, if you're not specifically focused on architectural fields and are serious about 3D modeling in general, think of SketchUp as a quick and dirty way of creating simple models like houses and buildings in a fast and easy way. I'm not trying to say SketchUp is not a good program. You should work with whatever program that serves your purpose. I'm just sharing what I went through trying SketchUp and I hope this video kind of gave you an idea how you can use SketchUp's free resource. Thanks for watching guys.